guess what? As you can see, I rearranged my flat again. This time, instead of just moving my computer desk here and there and bits and bobs, I've been working on this for the past three days. This is day number four. I'm doing a complete overhaul. I, I, I emptied this entire room except for furniture. I took all my computer stuff into another room. I took every, every single DVD that you see I put to another room. Cleaned it all, wiped it all from dust, vacuumed, and then rearranged it. It's like moving day all over again. <laughs> My goal is for a clean, tidy look, even though I have a lot of stuff. It looks a lot messier where my camera is now, but really, it's actually clean. This living room is nearly done, other than I have a huge pile of clothes and just stuff to get to charity shops somehow. I think we're probably going to have to go to four different charity shops because I don't think one will take all of this stuff at once. I, I, I lost count but last time I counted it was 11 bags. Some of them are small, some of them are large, but uh, most of them are in big trash bags. So yeah, but it's been fun. I still have the kitchen to do but I can't really get into that until after I go to Ikea. And then I will have a flat that is clean for maybe a week, but for that week it will be wonderful. Well, let me give you the update on work. Work is the same. Work is boring, and it always is. Um, I've been working until midnight a lot more recently because they're always shorthanded and they ask me to. So that means I'm mostly standing around the self-service machines doing very, very little until midnight because no one really comes into the store after 10 o'clock. What I did do f to entertain myself was I went around each of the machines and, and, and looked to see if there were any coins that had fallen in between like the wall and the scales. There was a little gap in between there that lots of coins were and I saw pound coins and 20 pence and lots of shiny coins and I tried really hard to get most of them out and I only succeeded in getting 21p. I was more successful in pushing the coins further away. So It makes me wonder how many coins are stuck under there? There must be like a world of shiny riches down there. there. There's no way to get in there unless you have a heavy duty screwdriver and lots of time. Do they ever get cleaned? I wonder how much is actually down there. And who gets to keep it? All those poor lonely coins. I could have a mini rant about work because really all there is to it. Um, again with the self-service machines, if you haven't, if you don't know what they are and you haven't used one before, check out machines that you scan your own items in and place it into the bagging area. Scan it one at a time. Yeah, You have to scan it in one at a time because the machine weighs everything when you set it down. So if anything is set down that you haven't scanned, it will alert you. Unexpected item in bagging area. And this is why I must say, if you are a parent and you must bring your spawn to the grocery store, please do not use self-service machines unless they're in their own little pram or they are very well behaved. Kids tend to like like tend to want to crawl all over him and it messes it up and then the parents get really upset first at the machine because it's not doing anything and they don't know why even though it's saying it like there's words on the screen that is saying what's wrong but they can't read it they're just getting upset <laughs> and they take it out on me
There was one guy that came in a while ago and, and they got so mad and frustrated at the machine and they were moving things around and they nearly ended up throwing everything down on the ground and waving their arms around. I was like, why are you using these machines if you get that angry and stressed and frustrated over them? There are checkouts available. Wait a couple of minutes in line and you will save everyone a lot of stress and negative vibes. Oh, and um, my hair. Um, last time I had a fringe, so it was quite a while ago since I made an update. I'm sorry. But yeah, my fringe is growing out. It's at a really annoying length. I hope you enjoyed my last videos of my Viking holiday. It was fun to make them. Um, sorry that it was not so much audio, but really the scenery and the landscape is the best thing there anyway. So, yeah. I also have been recruited by one of my friends to help edit together one of her videos. It's a tale of creation by Maya. It is her own take, her own non-serious story about creation and genesis. And there is a reason why she's doing it and it is explained in the introduction. There are only two videos so far, well, three, but the second one doesn't count. There are going to be at least eight other videos. Take a look and subscribe to this story. Um, I'm doing all the editing through Vegas Pro, and it's um, it's been a learning experience. Her video was the first time I edited anything in Vegas Pro but I'm quite happy about the title and I'm going to make my own awesome title as soon as I figure some things out. On the painting front, I'm currently doing two different ones. They're quite large ones. One is another pixel painting of a face again, but it's all in black and white. And I'm doing the squares about a quarter of the size of the first one. So instead of 780 squares, I will have over a thousand squares. So it's going to take some time because it's not the most interesting painting to do. And there is the start of my next pixel painting. Now, there is quite a lot more to go as you can see. But hey, got an eyeball. And yes, I am painting over another canvas because it sucked and it has served its purpose. So recycle. I have done a painting with oil recently and it's quite different to work with an acrylic. It takes, it takes a lot more patience, but the results are nice. Um, I'll show you. There we go. There's my oil painting of a dryad or tree nymph. I used a picture that I took while in sky at the Fairy Glen for the background and the model is one of my friends. She allowed me to use one of her photos. So thank you. University not too long ago, I handed in my last essay for forensic biology, and I am currently counting down the days to when the results will be released. Um, the module grades are supposed to come out on the 20th, but the program board decision, like the official, ooh, you have graduated or you haven't, is posted on the 27th. So as soon as I get um, good news, I will tell you all about it. 
there will be another post. It may be really short, but I will tell you all about it. And I will be celebrating. Alright, well, I hope it's not too long before I make another video. I will try to get started on my next Tale of Creation video. Because I know some people are expecting it. So, take care.